The summer weather is here and I don't know about you, but all I can think about is going to the beach. So today we are going to be making a summer beach tote. It even has a zipper pocket on the front to hold your keys and phone. Even if you're not into going to the beach, this tote makes a great carry all for whatever it is you need to carry around. Even if you're not sewing this bag today, you're going to learn some really cool sewing techniques like this reinforced triangle corner on the bottom of the bag. This triangle here on the corner is something that's used in the higher end tote bags and it's super easy to do and I'm going to show you how to get this look today. Speaking of high end finishes, there are tote bags out there that are hundreds of dollars. But today we are going to make a tote bag with all of those high end finishes and you get to make it yourself and it is going to be so satisfying to know that you made your own tote bag and it's gonna be a lot cheaper. That's great too. So let's get into it. And the first thing you need to do is download your pattern. I have the pattern at SewingAnastasia.com in the digital patterns. You can print it out on your home printer or send it to a large format printer. Once you've printed your pattern, make sure you cut out your paper pattern with your paper scissors. And next, you're going to cut out your fabric pieces. Let's go over all the pieces you should have cut out. And don't forget to follow those grain lines. You should have two pieces cut out for the top of the bag. You're going to have one piece cut out for the bottom of the bag. You're going to have one pocket, one nine inch zipper, and then you're going to have two straps. Now that we have everything cut out, it is time to start sewing. And the first thing we're going to work on are these really long straps. To prep the straps, we're gonna head over to the ironing board and do a little ironing. First thing we're gonna do is iron the strap wrong sides together. So that way we get a nice crease down center. So now I have a nice crease at the center here. And now what we need to do are take the edges and fold them in a half inch. If you're not sure what a half inch looks like, grab your seam gauge and just measure it. So we're going to iron down the side half inch. And now we're gonna iron down the other side a half inch. And then after we have both sides ironed in a half inch, we're gonna fold it in half line it up and just give it one final press. And once you have both of your straps nice and pressed, we're ready for some sewing. Now that we have everything nice and ironed, we're gonna give those straps a few edge stitches. We're gonna fold the straps together. We're going to line up those edges nice, and then we're going to edge stitch them together. So about an eighth of an inch away from the edge, we're gonna stitch it all the way down the strap. And then to keep the design nice and symmetrical, we're also gonna edge stitch over here an eighth of an inch away from the edge. To make this edge stitch go really nice, I'm going to be using the stitch in a ditch foot or people call it the edge joining foot. So that way that little metal guide there can be right next to my fabric. And I've moved my needle position over to the left one millimeter. So that way I can be right on the edge. So we're gonna back stitch and then we are just going to guide these straps all the way down. When you get to the bottom, you can turn and just come all the way up the other side. Now we're done with those edge stitches on the strap. You're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that our straps are edge stitched on both sides, it's time to move on to the pocket. To start the pocket, we wanna finish the edges of the outside of the pocket. I surged mine, but you could also zigzag or overcast yours. So after you finish the edges of the pocket, we wanna take the zipper. We're going to place it face down on the top edge. And then what we're going to do is sew right in the middle of the zipper tape. So we want to attach this zipper to the pocket. So I have my all-purpose zipper foot on and I have my needle position moved over to the left. So that way when I'm stitching, I'm stitching in the center of the zipper tape on the right-hand side. And I have the zipper tape lined up with the edge of the fabric. We're gonna back stitch. And just work your way all the way down the zipper. When you get towards the end and the zipper pulls in the way, lift up your foot and then unzip your zipper. And then you can continue sewing up the zipper. 
back stitch and cut. Now that we have that on there, we're going to take the zipper and we are going to flip it back and we're going to give the zipper a little top stitch so that way it stays down nice and secure. So we're going to switch our all-purpose zipper foot to the right side and I'm going to put my needle position at center. Back stitch at the beginning and then work your way all the way down the zipper. Back stitch at the end and cut. And now you have a nice little top stitch holding down that zipper. Now grab one of the top panels at the back, grab the one you want to put the pocket on. We're going to fold it in half, wrong sides together, so that way we can mark on the right side here. And we just want to figure out where half is, or you can check out a notch on the pattern. We're also going to fold this pocket in half as well, so that way we can figure out where center's at on this, or you can check out that notch on the pattern. And now I know exactly where this is going to go. So I can line up those two notches there and place the pocket right there. But we need to secure down the top of this zipper here. So what I'm going to do is just put a little mark here on both sides of the pocket where that zipper is. Once you have both sides of the center of the zipper marked, you're going to have two marks on your fabric. And now we can take the pocket and we are gonna flip it. So that way we are lining up the center of that zipper again at that same spot, but right sides together. And now what we're going to do is sew this side of the zipper tape to the back. And essentially what's gonna happen is now our pocket is going to fold back and then it will line up with the bottom of our bag and that side of the zipper will be sewn down to the back. I'm gonna pin this down so you don't want it moving out of place, otherwise we're going to have a crooked zipper. So go ahead and pin this down. I have the all-purpose zipper foot on the left side and I have the needle position moved over to the left. Now we're gonna sew this down. Make sure you back stitch in the beginning and then just work your way down the zipper. Back stitch at the end and cut. Look at how good the zipper looks sewn onto this bag. I love it. Everything is nice and centered. And when I flip the pocket back down, you can see that it lines up with the bottom nicely. Now what we want to do is just stitch this down right outside the serge just to keep it in place because these straps that we made are going to end up covering the side here. So we're just stitching to the left of that serge there. So that way we can keep the pocket nice and secure. And we're done with that. The pocket's on and it is looking beautiful. So now it's time to attach those straps. And we need to know exactly where to stop sewing them. So we're going to mark with a ruler two inches down from the top of the bag. The easiest thing to do is use a two inch clear ruler. Take your fabric marker or chalk and go ahead and draw a line all the way across the top. So that way you know exactly where to stop sewing. And then later on, this will be a nice guide when we need to hem the top of the bag. So when we place the straps on the bag, we're going to be covering this pocket. So I'm going to center the strap right over the pocket, and then I'm going to pin it down. And you can see how nicely this is going to finish that pocket. And now right where this blue line is, that's where I'm going to stop sewing the strap. Make sure your straps aren't twisted and go ahead and place the strap over the other side of the pocket and pin it down. There we go. Now that we have one side pinned on, what we want to do is add a little top stitch and we're going to top stitch all the way up to that blue line, come across and top stitch back down. And we're going to do that to both sides. So now I'm adding my top stitch right along the edge and I am just using my regular A foot on this as a guide. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. 
The front of our bag is looking great with our zipper pocket and our straps here that we have attached. Now let's move on to the other side of the bag. The easiest way to make sure your straps are lined up is just take the pieces and put the bottoms together and then go ahead and pin them down. I've also already marked the top two inches so I know exactly where to stop sewing. And again, just make sure your straps aren't twisted when you place the other side of the strap on. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side and top stitch down these straps up to that two inch mark. I sewed that other set of straps on and it is looking beautiful. And now it's time to sew the bottom of the bag to the sides. So we are just going to end up flipping these side panels right sides together. And we are going to sew a half inch seam. And then I'm gonna serge that seam. I'm gonna serge all the layers together so it's nice and clean. So then we'll open up that one and then we'll do the same thing to this side. Just flip it right sides together, sew up a half inch seam and then serge the edges together. And then we will have the bottom of the bag attached. And now that that part is done, let's check it out. So now you can see we have the bottom of the bag attached to the sides of the bag. But now what we need to do is top stitch down our seam to the bottom of the bag to reinforce it and make it really strong. Don't forget to back stitch in the beginning and the end. Our top stitch is looking beautiful and it's making our bag so strong. Now we need to sew up the sides of the bags and we are going to give this bag some French seams. So we are gonna place wrong sides together first. So I have my wrong sides together here and we are going to line up the bag. We're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance down the side from top to bottom. After we do that, we're gonna cut off half of the seam allowance, so it's an eighth, and then we're gonna flip the bag. We're gonna sew it right sides together, and then we're gonna sew another quarter inch seam allowance. And you're going to do that to both sides of the bag. And then the sides of the bag are finished. Let's take a look at our French seams. Ooh la la. On the inside, they look like this. It's a nice, clean finish. So all we see is a stitching line, no raw edges, no surging. And when we flip it right side out, we're just gonna have a nice, clean seam. So if we flip this whole entire big bag right side out and we take a look at one of the seams, you'll see we just have a nice clean looking plain seam here. But on the inside, it has a nice clean finish. And this seam is really strong because it took two stitches to create it. And speaking of French seams, if you'd like to improve your sewing skills, make sure you check out my online sewing academy. There's a link down below in the description. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like and subscribe to Sewing Anastasia. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to finishing that bag. The next step is going to be finishing the top of the bag. And we're gonna give it a nice wide rolled hem. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the iron so that way we can iron it in place. First, I'm gonna iron under the top edge a half inch. And then I'm going to fold it down one inch. I'm just gonna work my way all the way around the bag. Now that we have the top ironed down, we're going to edge stitch right at the fold here to help keep that down. And if you want, you can also edge stitch at the top here just for extra reinforcement around the top of your bag. Don't forget to back stitch when you start and work your way all the way around the bag. We have our hem stitched on the bottom and the top and it's looking beautiful and strong, just like I like my men. Now is the part you've probably been waiting for, how to create those outside reinforced corners on the bag with that triangle on the side. It's so cool, isn't it? We'll follow along and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you to do this on this side first and then you can do the same thing to the other side. So we don't have a seam at the bottom, so I'm going to chalk right at the bottom of the bag so I know where it's at. And now that I have that marked, we are going to take the bag and we're going to pull the bottom apart. And now what I wanna do is I wanna line up this seam with that blue line there. And well, we can't see through fabric, so go ahead and take a pin when you think you have it lined up. Push the pin through and see if it's showing on the blue line or your chalk line on the other side. And if it is, go ahead, 
and pin it. So that means that I have this nice and lined up. You want that corner to be nice and pushed out as well. And now we can go ahead and flatten this out. And now we're going to measure down three inches. I'm going to do a substantial um, boxed corner here. So I'm going to measure down three inches from the tip. And now I'm going to draw a line across my fabric here. And it should be about three inches on both sides of the seam here. And now this blue line here, we're going to sew that. So I'm just going to use a straight stitch. I'm going to sew right across that blue line that I drew making sure that I'm back stitching at the beginning and the end of this, keeping everything nice and flat. Now we're gonna take this triangle and we are going to fold it up at that seam that we created right there and pin it down just through the one layer of the bag. Make sure the tip of the triangle is right there at that seam. And now what we're going to do is sew up this side and then down that side. And this is going to give us a nice, strong, reinforced corner of the bag with that little triangle on the outside. So to make this really easy, I took off the back of my sewing machine so I can really fit the bag on here. Now it is going to be a bit bunchy because we do have the corner of the bag here. So smooth it out the best you can start at the back bottom of the triangle and here we go let's give it a little edge stitch and just follow that edge and keep it nice and flat remove the pins when you get to them when you get to the top of the triangle leave your needle in lift your foot up and turn the bag Back stitch at the end and cut. We have finished our bag and it is looking awesome. I've got my bathing suit on and I'm ready to head to the beach. But first, let's take a look at the details on the bag. This bag is not just a regular old tote bag. We have got our zipper pocket here, which is big enough to fit any phone, keys, and wallet in it, so it's not gonna get lost in your tote bag. We have these straps on the side, which are top stitched down, and they go into this bottom section here, which is really nice. But one of my favorite parts are the triangles on the bottom. These supporting triangles on the bottom are just a genius design idea. So that way it's a clean finish on the inside and we get this extra support on the outside and more detail. Who doesn't love more detail? And our hem on the inside top has got those edge stitches, making this a nice clean finish. So this bag inside and out is beautiful. Speaking of being beautiful, look at these amazing French seams on the inside. This bag just has such a nice clean finish to it. And on the inside, you can see what those triangles look like. They end up looking like a stitched triangle here with a nice clean finish. I'm sure you've already got some tote bags laying around, but this tote bag is so fashionable and sturdy and strong, and it's got a pocket on it, and you made it. Nothing is better than something you made, because when you get that compliment on it, you get to say, thanks, I made it. And you know that feels amazing. And with the sturdy construction, you're going to have this bag for a long time. And don't forget, you can download the pattern at SoeAnastasia.com so that way you can make you and all of your friends tote bags this summer. Thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions about the tote bag, leave it down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to Soe Anastasia. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you guys. And let me know if there are any other videos you want to see coming out this summer. Don't forget to follow me on all the socials so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I'm always posting what's going on in the studio in my Instagram stories. So make sure you check that out, especially. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take some sewing classes with me. And if you're not in Chicago, well, we now have online sewing courses. You can check out the links for all of that down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye.